Now, thinking back to Christmas as a child, do you remember every toy you got or is it the traditions that stand out more? Families can put themselves under pressure to make everything perfect as much as possible. Sometimes the simpler things count for more. So how can we, uh, as parents, keep our children's expectations realistic and still enjoy the Christmas spirit? Mm -hmm. Well, parenting expert Dr Mary O'Kane joins us now with her tips. Because uh, it is going to be a bit of a different Christmas, this one, isn't it, Mary? Oh, it will be, Karen. It's been just the year. I mean, 2020 yeah. has been that year, and I think this is going to be the 2020 Christmas. Yeah. But I think maybe we need to remind ourselves of that. Those big extended family gatherings are not going to happen and nearly allow ourselves just the disappointment of that, but appreciate what we have. Because those rituals are so important. Family time, the connection is huge. This year, I think more than ever, um, having that time together to round off this year. We've been through so much this mm, year. Massive. Our children have been through so much. They've been so good. You know, with, Through lockdown, they've given up so much. And we kind of see the light at the end of the tunnel now, I think. We're sort of looking yeah. forward to 2021. So having that time to connect is it's a good thing. What, what sort of rituals should people try to look to create this Christmas? Well, you know, I think it's, it's family, Tommy. That's what it really is. So whether it is toasting marshmallows, whether it's movie nights, whether it's reading your favourite Christmas yeah. story as a kid to them, like all those things. If we think about our memories, we remember, it's those things we remember. I remember one year um, in my house, Santa must have had, got muck on his boots or something. We, we found partial footprint on the floor. No way. My Nuts. kids were, oh, we did, oh, Karen. <laughs> I, mean, I was always I too petrified. They were, oh, they came <laughs> oh. down in the morning. And my little one was like, Look what's there. We will never forget that. Yeah. You know, sometimes it's the silly little things that happen that are more important than necessarily the gift and you it's receive. It's been a difficult year for Santa as well. Oh, that's the other thing, Tommy. First of all, I'm so relieved to see the government say the other day about yes. not having to quarantine. You know, a lot of children were very Imagine. worried about yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. So that was a huge relief. No restrictions relief. on travel for Santa. Yeah, a really huge relief. And I don't believe there has been COVID in the North Pole either, which oh, is good. really important. But what I have heard, and funny, I was talking to a local toy shop near me and he was saying they have been in touch, there have been supplier issues all over the world and we believe there have been in the North Pole as well. So okay. potentially we're aware that on your wish list, mm. children might not get everything this year, but we also know Santa will do, he'll make sure every child gets That's a good idea for kids. It's a wish list. So Santa will try yeah. and get you one of those things, even if it's not the three things that you really have your heart set on. Yeah, that's it. And it's funny, there's been so much unpredictability this year. I think for a lot of children, it's just a relief to know Santa will be there. And yeah. Christmas might be different, but we can make new memories. And, you know, again, those rituals, that, that family time, that connection, we, can, we might not have everybody together. You know that ad? on the TV where the little fella has his granddad yeah. on the iPad and he's getting him to yes. check under the bed. <laughs> well, I think this Christmas there'll be iPads at tables yeah. with people talking to their cousins on the iPad, having dinner together and we're looking over at you and we're communicating. Like, there's lots of potential. There yeah. really is. It'll be different, but that doesn't mean it won't be special. Because the reality is that um, not getting everything you want doesn't do a child any harm no, and it feeds no. into this resilience that you come absolutely. back to again and yeah, again. Yeah, absolutely. And look what our children have learned this year. You know, the little ones, I might be small. I can make a difference in the world yeah. by washing my hands, by you know, keeping my distance from people. They have saved lives. Mm. Like, our children have probably faced the biggest challenge we've faced. I mean, a pandemic. We never thought our children would have to face that. Look what they've come through. And they didn't have to do big things. They came through it by staying safe with their family, by telling the ones they loved they were scared, if they were scared, like they learned, if something scares me, tell somebody who loves me. They learned little things I can do can be life changing. They learned that they, they are strong, that their family can survive. That's phenomenal. Yeah, you know, they, they've learned so much to be positive about this and, year. And something that to take away from the end of this year is bringing it back to the true Christmas spirit. Yeah, that's and that's it. something that maybe has got lost in years gone by when it's all been about presents and yeah. meeting up. But it's actually as a family and remembering those special things. That's it. Do you know, Tommy, what they really want for Christmas is you. Yeah. Mm. They want you, your time, your attention. It, it genuinely is the little things that are really important. And tell to us about the science of giving 
giving and how this creates oh, happiness within a child. It definitely does. Help her high, we call it. <laughs> and a lot of parents might be surprised. They did research with toddlers and with toddlers telling them they could either keep a bag of sweets or they could share with other people. The toddlers, they wanted to share, but after they shared, they came back, they were so happy that Part they'd done that deed. Yeah. Our children are born with empathy, they absolutely are. Even babies, like 12 months old, babies show concern when others are upset, when they can see you know, responses in others. And it does, it releases happy chemical, helper high, we call it. So again this year, maybe do something as a family, a new ritual, where we, we give, we give to somebody more needy. We actually stop and think, what could we do for others? It could be an elderly person down the road, it could be dropping a hamper into another family. I know inner city helping homeless, we're looking for it to make shoeboxes, the Team Hope shoeboxes for children. There's so many things that little ones can do. I mean, there's a message. Yeah, you know, I think, I mean, Christmas kindness, mood. isn't that just something oh. that this whole world could do with yeah. more of at the minute? Oh, and yeah. And to show that this Christmas would be so special. Yeah, so good for them. That is Christmas spirit and what a lesson for them. That's more important than lots and lots of material things. You know, it really is for their long-term development. <laughs> Mary, good, good. thank Sound you so always. much for that. That was super and happy Christmas to you. You too. Yeah.